Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the Victoria Lace earrings. And these earrings go with the bracelet that I posted last week. So I'm going to move the bracelets and show you the earrings. All right. So I have two styles of earring. So this is the original one. And it really is very simple. It's a portion of the bracelet and I've made an earring out of it. And with the black one I use some bicones in here. Um, just to give it a little more sparkle, but you can really, you know, that's up to you. Now this earring is really the same as this earring. Okay, I'm going to show you. It's the same. I've just put it, I've just moved it around so that it's facing this direction. So it's on this side rather than, it's on the horizontal side rather than vertical like this. And then all I did was add another unit here and a drop here and you have another earring. Okay, just in, um, just to let you know, if you do this one, you're going to have to use some sort of um, stiffener on it. So a jewelry shield, you know, like I've been talking about, a resin of some kind, um, you know, whatever, nail polish, clear nail polish maybe, I'm not sure. Because where you don't need it for this one, although it, you can use it, you know, to stiffen it a little bit. Um, this one, because it's wide, you know, you're going to need something to stiffen it. So I'm just giving you a heads up on that if you decide to do this one because I don't want you to be disappointed if it's not sitting perfectly. And now I did um, use the jewelry shield on both of these. I just painted a little bit on the back and then I let it dry, put it in one of these little trays like this and then I let it dry overnight and it's perfect and it, um, it wears beautifully. Um, and this one, as I said, you don't have to stiffen it. You can, but... Um, so this is the one we're going to make today, and I'm going to, you're going to, I'm going to show you how to make this one as well, so, you know, whatever you decide to make, it's up to you. All right, so let me clear the decks. We'll get a materials list going. Get okay, let's get a materials list going. So you're going to need some 3 millimeter pearls, some 5 millimeter pearls, 6 millimeter pearls, and if you're doing this one, you're going to need, if you want to do this color combination or this, this pattern, you'll need... Um, some six millimeter different color pearls, gemstones, round bead, and a you know a, a white pearl in the middle. Uh, so I'm get, what I'll do is I'll put everything in the description box below for this earring as well as the other earring, so you can you know and amounts and everything, so that you know what you could you know you know what you need for everything. So you'll need either or or both. You'll need some. 15, 11 OC beads. And here, I'll put this guy out here too. You'll need some 11 OC beads. You'll need some 15 OC beads. And if you're doing this guy, you'll need two drops. And these are uh, the sort of the briolette drops. So they're horizontal. The hole is horizontal here. I ordered this on, on uh, Etsy and I got a huge strand. I don't think it was a 16 inch strand. I don't remember the price, but I was really surprised it's a Venturine, um, how reasonable it was. And I will link that shop. It's the only time, the first time I've ordered from the shop, everything came, it came immediately, uh, no problems whatsoever. So I will um, give you a the name or the link to that shop below in case you want to check out the gemstones that they have. You need two ear wires. You'll need a stop bead, eight pound fire line, size 11 and maybe a 12 beading needle. I keep the 12 handy. Don't forget to look for the coupon codes for the tray and for the mat under there so you get your discounts if you're ordering something. All right, so gather up your materials and we'll get started. Yeah, we're back. So just before we start, I just wanted to let you know or show you that if you don't want to do this because you don't want to mess with the jewelry shield, then you can just add a drop to either one of these. So this one, look how pretty that looks with the pearl drop. Very simple to just stitch a drop on the bottom. You can even stitch around it with the 15 O's to give it that, that pretty outlined look. And this one, look how pretty that looks with this um, faceted crystal on the bottom. So you have options here. All right. So let me move these up. So thread your needle with about, I don't know, about three and a half to four feet of thread and Put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. About an eight inch tail. Who knows, we might be use it. So if you leave eight inches, it gives us some options. Okay, so we put on my needle, a three millimeter. So this is the Victoria pattern, lace pattern that we did with the bracelet. Three millimeter, 15 Three millimeter, 15 Three millimeter, 
same sequence, 15011015 3mm, 15011 and A15. So I have four pearls on and four groups of the seed beads. I'm going to drop those down to my stop bead. I'm going to move these guys up and I'm going to come through the sew through the first pearl past the stop bead, make a circle. Now I'm going to sew through the next three seed beads. I'm going to skip the pearl and sew through the next three seed beads. I'm going to skip the next pearl and sew through the next three seed beads. I'm going to skip the next pearl and sew through the next three seed beads. Do that again. Skip the next pearl. Sew through the next three seed beads. And I'm going to sew through the pearl this time, the next pearl. Okay, and what that does, when I give it a little pull, you don't have to pull too tight, just pull it. It kind of pops the pearls out a little bit, and it gives it that little frame look. All right, so I'm coming out of this bead right here. So we're going to add this pearl on. So we're going to pick up a six millimeter pearl. Out of here. I'm just going to come around, come across, and go th sew through the top of that pearl on the other side. And when I pull that into place, that's what I have. I'm going to sew through the next three seed beads and the pearl if you can. Just like that. I'm going to pick up. A 15 11-0, and a 15 and a 3 millimeter pearl, and a 15 and 11 and a 15 and a 3 millimeter pearl, I'm going to pick up a 15 an and 11 and a 15 and a three millimeter pearl. And then I'm going to pick up a 15 0, an 11 0, and a 15 0. So that's what I have on my needle. I have four groups of the seed beads and three pearls. Coming out of here, I'm just going to just sew through the other side of that pearl. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on the first unit, so through the first three seed beads. I'm going to skip the pearl. I'm going to sew through the next three seed beads. I'll pop that pearl out with my finger a little bit. Give it a little pull. I'm going to skip the next pearl. I'm going to sew through the next three seed beads. Skip the next pearl. So through the next three seed beads. I'm going to skip the next pearl. And so through the next three seed beads. And the pearl if you can get it, but if you can't, just sew so through the three. Just like that. Just like move your piece around so you can sew it easily. And then through the pearl, the next pearl. going to put on my next pearl. So it's going to be, I'm just going to have two in this line. Just sew through the top of the, the pearl on the other side to place this six millimeter. I'm going to 
sew through. The next three seed beads and the pearl if you can. And this is what I have. All right, so this here it is. Here's the center part. Now, if you're making this one, we're going to make the whole center part first, then you're going to add this separately. If you want, you can add a third unit on and just ignore that and, you know, go from there. But I'm just going to make this, it, it will be too confusing for me to do it on the video, so I'm just going to make this whole piece and then I'm going to add this unit on. All right, so get to this point, meet me back here, and we'll continue. See you in a okay, few. we're back. So, let's continue. So we're coming out of this bottom pearl here. I'm just going to advance my needle through the next three seed beads in that pearl. So the three, the pearl, So now I'm coming out of one of these side pearls, right here. I'm going to pick up a 15-0. Let me grab my three millimeters. A three millimeter, a 15-0, a three millimeter pearl, a 15-0, a three millimeter pearl, and a 15-0. So I have three three millimeter pearls. Let me move these guys out of the way. Three three millimeter pearls and four 15 O's. Coming out of here, just going to sew around the other side of that seed bead, of that uh, three millimeter, to put on my side unit. Now I'm going to work my way across diagonally to this pearl. So, sew through. The next three seed beads. Across through the pearl. I just maneuver your piece around, like move it to where it's comfortable to sew. So now through that pearl, and then I'm going to sew through the next three seed beads. Come on, Stephanie, you can do it. There we go. <laughs> Oops, lost it. Okay, let's try that again. Next three seed beads. Sometimes my hands are so cold. It's morning, and they're so cold in the morning, they don't work. So I have to let them warm up a little bit. Okay, next three seed beads. And then the pearl. Pick up a 15 a pearl. A 15 -o. a pearl, a 15 -o. a 3 millimeter pearl, and a 15 -o. Man of here, let's make our unit, just like that. So now you can either pop through this pearl to get to this pearl. We're going to go to this pearl. I'm just going to come down and around. So through the next three seed beads. The pearl. The next three. if you can get it. If not, just do them separately. Like that. I'm going to do the same thing. A 15 -o, A 3 millimeter pearl. I'm stuck. Grab a few more. A 15 -o, A 3 millimeter pearl. A 15 -o, three millimeter pearl and a 15 out. 
You notice how my needle is bending? So I'm using a pony beading needle here, and I notice lately they're really bending a lot. This is an 11. When I use the tulip, it doesn't bend as much. Because there's really nothing that should bend it. I think it's just my, my big cans. All right, so I'm going to come around the other side of that pearl. Put on that unit. Then I'm just going to sew through across and put another unit right here. So just get that last one done. We're just sewing across, and then meet me back here, and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I just wanted to show you where we are. So here we are. See, right here on this one. And on this one, we're right here. Okay, so let's continue. So now we're going to do, we're going to make some connections here. All right, so when I hold it like this, it's going to be this pearl down here, this pearl up here. So here I put my last unit on, I'll loosen it, and I've come through the pearl. I'm just going to sew through the next 15 out, so I'm coming around again, 3 millimeter and 15 out. I'm going to sew through this 3 millimeter, just to put me on the edge here, and then I'm going to pick up a 15 out, the 5 millimeter, and a 15 out. I'm just going to sew through this guy. Just like that. Now I'm going to sew through these. The 15 out, the 3 millimeter, the 15 out. Right there. So I'm going to be working my way around to get to this side. So to do that, I'm going to sew through this one. And it, um, when you do it this way, it kind of tightens up the center of the earring as well. So next, down the next three. So I've come out of this one. I'm going to sew through the next three. Like that. Through this guy. Let's make a turn. And so through these three. So I'm working my way across to get to that unit. And three millimeter if you can get it. If not, just do the three seed beads, the three millimeter. I'm going to sew across these three, the 15 out, three millimeter, 15 out, just to situate myself I'm back through the end, through this three millimeter, to situate myself here so I can add that five millimeter. So 15 out, a five, and a 15 out. I mean, if you have a better route through, then that's fine also. You just want to make sure you're here so you can get those on. All right, just like that. All right, so here we are. Okay, so get that done. Maybe back here, and we'll continue. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So I'm coming out of this three millimeter. Right there after adding on that five. So now I'm going to I'm going to come around this unit again. I'm going to come down the 15 now. The three. The 15 now and the three. So I'm coming around. To sew up through this 15 out, 3, 15-0. Again, I'm using the unit to put myself in, in position. And then I'm going to just turn through this 5 millimeter. Not the, you know, I've come out of this 15-0. I'm not going through this 15-0. I'm just coming 
right through the, the um, pearl, the five millimeter. And I'm going to pick up, see there's seven or eight. It, with, the, with the bracelet, seven fit, but I'm thinking that eight for the earring. Let's see. I don't know why. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It just looked better. Just going to, I'm coming out of here. It's going to go back around right through the pearl. Let's see if the eight, yeah, the eight kind of, you know, made a better fit. And then I'm going to sew back through all the beads, you know, all the 15 O's I put on, through the pearl, again, okay, and that's going to put my top little unit on. So what I did at this point is I put the the um, ear wire on, but I'm going to wait and do that in a minute. So just leave this. So you've got some thread left over, leave this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off my tail thread, so I have that my eight inches. I'm going to come through, I'm going to sew through this bead, these three, this one, these three, this one, these three, this one. I'm going to come around the unit and do the same thing to this five millimeter pearl. All right, so I'm going to let you, um, I'm going to let you do that. You can do it. Okay, come through here, sew through this whole unit, come around, come through here, come through the pearl, put on your eight beads, come around just like we did previously. All right, so get that done. <laughs> Meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So we have the earring now. So what's nice is that we have that tail left over here to put the ear wire on. Or if it's, you know, if it's not long enough or you don't want to, if you want to add it separately, just we'll just sew this thread in. You know, just come on around and sew through some of the beads and put some half hitch knots in. But we also have this nice little long thread at the bottom. So I figure I'm going to add this drop and I'm going to actually do the crystal drop on the end of this earring. And then, you know, then I'll get you through this part. Okay, so you're coming out of the five millimeter. Sew through the first three of those 15 O's uh, that's around the five millimeter. Pick up two 11 O's. The drop, just gonna use one 11 O at the bottom to secure it. You can do a little pico down there, it's up to you. Skip that. Wait a second, let's pull it up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Skip the little bead on the bottom. Give it a pull so it pulls up. You can even put a little bicone there if you want. Then I'm just going to sew through the first 11 O past the crystal. I'm going to pick up another 11 O and I'm going to sew through the last three beads that I added. So I'm skipping two of them, sewing through the last three of those 15 O's. And this is what it's, how it's going to look. And then I'm going to come back through this guy. So that's the five millimeter. All right. And this is how it looks. Now what you're going to want to do here, I'm not going to do it on camera, you're just going to want to come down and sew through all your beads again to reinforce that. All right. Um, and then after that, you know, you're going to sew, sew your, um, sew around this unit and tie some half hitch knots. And I think that looks so pretty. I love that. All right, so get that done. Meet me back here and we'll do the top. We'll get the ear wire on. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to put the ear wire on now. So if you have enough thread left over after you've done that, you know, you've um, embellished the pearl, then you can use the thread. If not, add a thread. And I have a great adding thread video, which I will link. I below in the description box. I'll always put it there so that you have, um, you can always check that video out. It's very simple. So here's my ear wire. I'll pick up an 11 -0. The wire. I'm using a lever back here. An 11 -0. Kind of enjoying the lever backs. They just, I don't have to worry about putting that little um, stopper at the end so they never fall out. Okay, I'm going to skip the two 15 O's and attach that like so. I'm going to come through the pearl, just like that. I'm 
going to just sew through everybody again. Back down. Like that. Back through the pearl. You get the idea. And you're going to make sure that that's nice and tight. Now, the only thing that I'm concerned about is this drop making the earring a little heavy. I mean, it's not heavy on the ear, but it may you may have to use the jewelry shield if you're using this um, this pearl. And you may want to put it around the top here. I did not put it on the top of this, and it's fine. So, but if you're you know the heavier the earring gets, the maybe the more it might um, it might curve. Although I don't know. I haven't, I haven't tried this one yet, so I don't know. All right, so here we go. Here are the earrings. I want to, um, before we take a look at everybody, I just want to get you through this earring. Now, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to talk you through it, <laughs> okay, because it's so easy. So here, this is what we have. So remember, we finished up to this point, right? So, you, so it's the exact same um, you know, you do everything exactly the same before you're adding these two ends on right here. So all I've done here, so I've just added a thread. You can add a thread um, and just put on another one of your Victoria units and then put your um, your ear wire on. So, you know, just doing the exact same thing. Just add a thread here, then three seed beads, the... 3 millimeter, 3 seed beads, the 3 millimeter, 3 seed beads, the 3 millimeter, 3 seed beads, right? And you're going to come through here. You're going to add your 6 millimeter in the middle and get that unit on there. And then just you can use the thread. Probably need about a foot of thread, maybe, you know, foot and a half and to get this on as well because everything else is already done. And then just going to add this drop. And all I did to add the drop, so here's the bottom, right? I just picked up, so add another thread, pick up a, a 3 millimeter pearl, your briolette, three millimeter pearl, come through this guy, go around three or four times, two or three times, whatever, however it's, um, make it nice and tight, and sew your threads in. So very easy to do either earring from this, from this um, pattern. All right, so why don't we just go ahead and just, we'll just check everybody out. So here's the, so here we have several different versions now, which is kind of fun. Right, and I'll pull out the bracelets just so you can see how pretty everybody looks together. So that's so pretty. And then, of course, the black one, which is just so my favorite. Love it. And then here we have this one, in case you want, you know, to go with that this earring. All right, so here are all our goodies. All right, so I hope you have fun making this earring. As I said, you can use the jewelry shield on all of them or, or just on this one. Maybe on this one. I love the drop on this. Really pretty. Okay, stay tuned. Now that you have this, we're going to, um, next video is going to be the necklace. All right, so I hope you have fun making this. I hope you post them on Facebook, um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you like my channel. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.